Today we're going to make a pumpkin soup. When I roast up the squash, I roast up a couple of bulbs of garlic along with the pumpkins while they're in the oven. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour uh, at 425. And remember, the pumpkin already has salt, pepper, and freshly grated nutmeg on it, little olive oil spray. So I take both bulbs of garlic, and I start the pot with a couple of fat carrots and some onion, some sage, and a big old fat bay leaf, okay? Um, I also put a little bit of orange or lemon or both. A little bit of citrus zest in here, and all of that roasted garlic from the two bulbs. I've got some hot stock. You can use vegetable or chicken. I have chicken bone broth here. All of our roasted pumpkin. And then be super, <laughs> super careful with your soup while you're blending this together. We're trying to puree the onions and the carrots, but we don't want it to splash up on us, right? So put the immersion blender down firmly into the pot before you turn it on. And then just puree it till it's uh, the same consistency. Here is our roasted garlic, roasted pumpkin soup. The fun part are all of the toppings. Mascarpone or creme fraiche or sour cream to make it creamy. Giardinetta, hot Italian pickled vegetables if you like. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're from Wisconsin and you enjoy a cheese curd or crumbly cheddar. I know. Maybe your family's from Italy and you like a little chopped pistachio. Maybe you like some chopped toasted hazelnuts. Maybe you're like me and you like hot pickled cherry peppers on anything. <laughs> Maybe you want a little chives, but chives go so nicely with the sour cream, yum. <laughs> Maybe you just didn't get enough in your sandwich, so you want a fat drizzle of hot honey. Yes. And if nothing else, there's always parsley or cilantro. <laughs> and also delicious for a cheese choice, especially if you're going with the hot honey, smoked blue cheese. Oh.